future love Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, online Wim Hof Method breathing session. Now this breathing exercise is not just a relaxation exercise, it's an exercise to activate the body and can be very intense, but I promise you if you give it the best, you will experience a deep sense of inner peace and an amazing feeling of physical relaxation in the end. High on your own supply as Wim would say. Now for those who know me, really nice to see you, or better said, you see me. For those who don't know me, thanks for um, being here and trying the Wim Hof Method breathing. Maybe you've done it before or it's your first time. Now in short notice, my name is Dominique Stulitz. I'm a physical therapist and osteopath for 20 years now. And since it's a little bit longer than one year, I'm also a Wim Hof instructor. Now, um, Let's say I've, I've been doing the Wim Hof Method now for almost three years. And the first time I did the breathing, it really felt amazing, but I hated the cold. Then I started the Fundamentals online course. And um, after three days of cold showers, I could already feel my body adapting. And so I continued. Now it, had a, it has had an enormous benefits for my self-confidence, for the trust in my body, for feeling stronger, more powerful. And uh, I use it in, in everyday time life, even with the, 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 the birth of my baby girl, Noah. We had the delivery, the baby delivery at home. And we used the Wim Hof breathing during uh, the contractions and it worked like a charm. Now, um, later on, after the, this fundamental course, I taught it to my patients, uh, how to do the cold showering, how to do the breathing, and they had magnificent results. There was one woman who was exhausted after walking uphill after two minutes and she started doing the breathing and her red blood cells increased in her blood was tested and then I felt I have to become a Wim Hof instructor. Now I had some amazing experience after that, um, also in Poland by itself, we, we done some incredible things I never believed that I could do. So uh, 10 minutes in the icy river, walking bare chested uh, with in shorts uh, uphill. Uh, really amazing and the, the tribe the connection with other people is very very genuine and is very very powerful now uh, right after um, the Academy I, I was in, invited to to assist Wim with a team of instructors in the Spain travel and also in the winter travel and beautiful things happened there so in the last year I've seen hundreds of people going in, in icy water uh, guided uh, a, a lot of them in the breathing so it's, a, it's an amazing, it's an amazing tool. Now, if you ask me, everybody uh, should learn it from 18 years old, the breathing and the cold. It's, uh, it's very easy to do. And I'm 100% sure that, that a lot of young people who suffer now from depression, autoimmune disease, burnout, would be much, 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 much better if they get everything in their own hands. Now, this is somewhat out of my comfort zone. I never thought I'd be giving a Wim Hof breathing session online, but hey, that's what Wim Hof method is all about. Getting out, out of your comfort zone. Do, don't think too much. Just do, be curious, have fun. So uh, I'm having fun so far. Um, now, I'd like to know if you can see me clearly and if you can hear me clearly. So it would be very nice if you would give a, a thumbs up in the, in the feed. And now we are also trying to connect a little bit. So it would be very interesting if you would write down from where you are watching. I can see 52 people are watching now. So that's, uh, that's incredible. That's, that's really nice. Um, so, um, okay, I can see thumbs up here. That means you can hear me clearly and you can see me. Um, let me see from where. 
it's really interesting. Okay, there's people from Belgium. Okay. So obviously connection is great. First time I did it in Dutch connection went away and it was uh, it was a disaster but we did it the next day. There are people from London, from uh, from Antwerp, from Holland. So um, okay, this is really nice. Let's continue. Now what can you expect? I'm gonna give you a short explanation on the three pillars of the Wim Hof method. So the mindset, uh, focus, commitment, the breathing and the cold. I'm going to explain how this Wim Hof method breathing exercise is done. So uh, we're gonna do a breathing exercise of four rounds and each round consists of three parts, going into that later. And for those who have never done the breathing, I'm going to demonstrate the breathing techniques so everybody can fully benefit from this breathing exercise when we're doing it later on. Now the Wim Hof method, a lot of people um, come in contact with the Wim Hof method through the device documentary inside the superhuman world of the Iceman. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it's a must do if you want to apply the Wim Hof method in your life. Now what triggered me most about the Wim Hof method before I started applying it was at the end of this documentary, Wim was asked, what is your mission, Wim? Now you must know that Wim comes from a very powerless situation when he lost his wife and he had four little children. So he, he went through a very deep, deep valley and the breathing exercises and the cold healed him and made him back in control of his own power and of his own mind and life force. Now, um, he was asked at the end of the documentary, now, Wim, what is your mission? And without a doubt, he answered, love. Love is my mission. But we have to go back to the lost love. We lost love. We lost connection with love. And we have to go through the grief. And then we can create our own health, strength, and happiness. And when you radiate good health, strength, and happiness, then you radiate love. So his message is love. And if you see about losing connection with that love, we live in a very chronic stress situation in our daily lives, not only now in coronavirus situation, but we work way too much. Uh, we are too much in our sympathetic nervous system, which I'll explain a little bit later. The balance between action and rest is gone. The action between me time, quality me time, and dealing, all, always being in... in um, uh, always being uh, at work for other people to please other people that balance is gone so the autonomic nervous system which reigns the immunity the cardiovascular system detoxification digestion our lymphatic system our hormonal system is completely completely out of balance and we are able to restore that because we are able to influence the autonomic nervous system now let me explain you a little bit what the autonomic nervous system is the autonomic nervous system works autonomously and we're not supposed to be able to influence that. Now we have on one part, we have the sympathetic nervous system, which is actually um, active during action. So the blood flow from our, from our body tends to go to the arms and the legs and goes to the brain. And so we need, we need to fight, fight or flight. And we need to be aware and awake so the pupils dilate and so on. Anyway, the blood goes away from the digestive system to the extremities and the brain. And it's very useful because it gets you out of bed in the morning. And if you, you haven't the sympathetic nervous system, um, you would do nothing. Now, um, it should be able 50% of the time and the rest should be for the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, the parasympathetic nervous system is active when you, when you rest, when you go to sleep. Or when you digest that's when like, that's why people tend to um, tend to get tired when they when they eat too much or have a little dip uh, after after eating in at noon now it also detoxes the body it also has the power for for our immune system the problem here is that it doesn't work when we are in stress and whether that's emotional stress or physical stress it doesn't matter so even in emotional stress, the parasympathetic nervous system does not work. And we don't uh, get a, enough nutrients from the food. We don't digest, we don't detox. And in the end, we are coming in a chronic inflammation, in a chronic inflammation uh, situation, which is the, 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 the roots of any kind of disease. So we are not eddies, we become 
unease and finally we could become in disease, we become unhappy and we become powerless. Now, if you compare it to old times when people were still living in caves, you go out and hunt, that's the sympathetic nervous system. You run, you go, you make sure you have food for your, for your family. And then you go home, dinner is cooked and you just lay down and you rest and, and you digest. So that should be balanced and that's definitely not the case the way we live our lives in Western society. On top of that, we don't drink enough water, we don't eat healthy, we don't sleep. And we're living in our brains, worrying all the time, being afraid and having a lot of limiting beliefs about ourselves, which should not be the case. Now, the Wim Hof Method, if you look at the goal of the Wim Hof Method, also because we, we tend to, to um, neglect or avoid the cold, we hate the cold, we think it's uncomfortable, we think it's dangerous for our heart, we lost the ability to deal and adapt to stress. We lost the ability to deal and to adapt to the cold. Now, the breathing and the cold are two controlled short-term stressors. And when we learn to deal with those two stressors, for instance, during the breathing, the adrenaline or epinephrine goes up to the amount of your first sky jump, sky, uh, sky dive. So that's a huge amount of adrenaline. And in the cold, of course, uh, we have a lot of stress and a lot of adrenaline comes up. Now, if we learn how to deal with these stressors, we create new neurological pathways, a higher brain function. And after that, we can use these neurological pathways to adapt to stress in daily life. Now, you can imagine how, how life would look like if we were able to deal with stress, not being overwhelmed with emotion, that we are able to deal in situations of uncertainty like we have now with the coronavirus and so on. So the goal is to reconnect with that part, that life force and that intuition inside so we can regain control over our, power, uh, over our mind and over our bodies. Now, this Wim Hof method is very, very efficient and is very, very basic and very simple. For instance, in a workshop or in a travel, we prepare people for the breathing and the eyes from the first moment they arrive for several hours and that's why they can do it. So if you people see go into ice baths from, um, from a workshop, we have prepared them mentally and that mindset is really, really important. We have prepared them emotionally and we have prepared them physically. Now, when you do the Wim Hof method at home, and that is why it's so efficient, you only need 15 minutes of breathing. Wim Hof has a perfect um, free app, a free mini class and a, a breathing bubble. It takes you 11 minutes to do the breathing exercise, which prepares you for the cold. I'll explain later why. And in only two minutes cold showers, you have all the benefits there is uh, from, from the Wim Hof method, which are, by the way, scientifically proven. It's, uh, it's great work that, that Wim has done with, uh, with the science. Now, I just explained you a little bit the philosophy and the goal, and it's a very nice message, but indeed, it's not just a philosophy, it's also chemistry, it's physiology, and we can influence that at will proven in science and normally we should not be able to do that by according to old science. Now we talk about health, strength and happiness and in science in chemical terms we can say that in terms of health we can reduce chronic and acute inflammation. Um, the inflammatory proteins that activate the inflammation we can reduce it by 50% the anti-inflammatory proteins we can um, augment them with 200 percent um, we can create white blood cells to attack viruses and and, um, and bacteria we are training hundred thousand kilometers of the cardiovascular system the cardiovascular problems are still that of course number one and there is one special protein it's inter it's called interleukin 10 and that tends to also re re um, activate the stem cells which re, uh, regenerate uh, tissue. So regeneration of tissue is easier and better when you do this method. Now, in terms of strength, we clean out the body, we make it more alkaline, and that, of course, has, a better, has, has an influence on better endurance and better for, uh, performance and also healing. Now, with doing this breathing exercise and not breathing for a short amount of time, the body responds with EPO. That's a hormone that um, creates more red blood cells. 
Now, if you know that the red blood cells are the carriers of the oxygens to the cells, then it's quite obvious that if you breathe in more oxygen, that if you breathe in the same amount of oxygen, but if you have more red blood cells, you have more oxygen in your tissue, which will give you more strength and endurance, of course. Happiness. There's so many people taking antidepressants and, and sleeping, sleeping pills and I don't know, uh, painkilling uh, and so on. But, you know, with this breathing exercise, and you will feel it right away, we can create our own serotonin. And serotonin is the base of antidepressants. We can create our own cannabinoids. We can create our own opioids, um, which are endorphins. And so we are much more resilient to stress and emotions. And that is actually why health, strength and happiness is not only a philosophy, but it is scientifically endorsed, which is, which is great. For me, it was important when I started to do the Wim Hof Method, knowing that it was all scientifically endorsed. Now that I'm doing it for almost three years, I think it's interesting, but I felt, and that's exactly what Wim said, feeling is understanding. I felt that it has an amazing influence on my health, on my strength, and also on my happiness, on the way I feel, on the way I deal with, with uh, things, with how, how I cope with, with stress situations. Now, why is the Wim Hof Method so basic and so simple? I already told you it's very efficient. Well, why is it so basic and so simple? Now we have three pillars. We have the breathing, we have the cold, and we have the mindset. And the mindset is maybe one of the, maybe the most important one of the three. Because if you don't have a strong mindset, or if you don't have a, the right mindset, going into the cold is very, very challenging. But like I said, if you have the right mindset, then even going into an ice bath is much easier than you can imagine right now. Now, Let's talk about the mindset a little bit. We can do <coughs> so much more than we think. And everybody can do this. Um, we have so many limiting beliefs, but our physical limits are way, way, way beyond that. Um, I experienced it myself. I've seen it with hundreds of people. I would never believe it if I, uh, if I didn't uh, s saw it and so on. Now, if we look to planet Earth from outer space, we see two colors. And one of the colors is green, of course, it's the plants and the trees that produce oxygen. And we have, on the other hand, we have blue. And that's, of course, cold water. Now, if we have Mother Nature, we have oxygen and we have cold water. That's actually what Wim Hof Method is all about. Because the, the oxygen and water are the things we cannot live without that long. Now, um, the cold and the oxygen are actually two of the most powerful basic elements on this planet. Now, I've, I've been looking for, for a way to explain what, what this mindset is all about, that believing that we can deal, that we can do so much more than we believe, than we think. So um, let me explain you on the hand of this little echo here. This is the, the echo of my baby girl, Noah. She's now seven months old. And here she's a little shrimp of one centimeter and a half. Now, the first time I saw it, my mind went blank. It was jaw dropping and I was, I was flabbergasted. I didn't think. The only thing I could think was, I saw the little heart beating and I thought, this is, this is a miracle. You know, there is something inside that knows it has to become human. It has to become like me. And it has to become like, like my, my girlfriend, Ilona. So if you take an embryo of a lion, or of a giraffe or of a human being, it looks exactly the same. But there is an intelligence in there that knows it has to become human and it has to look like uh, my, my eyelashes and the rest of my girlfriend. Now, what I really wanna say is there is an intuition or an intelligence that knows much more than that we will ever read and that we will ever learn. It's in there, we don't have to create it, we just lost connection with it. And on the other hand, besides knowing that intuition, that part of us that knows the way, there is a life force that starts multiplying two cells, two becomes four, 16 and so on. And it keeps developing and it keeps growing and it keeps growing and healing. And it doesn't stop when you're born. It stops the last breath you take. So it only ends when you die. That's amazing. We have our intuition and we have life force in there and we just need a method or, or a tool to reconnect with that. 
because when we grow up, we have mental conditioning, we have so much social conditioning, we have so much information from our ancestors in our DNA that pops up, we have so much social pressure, rules, education, that tells you what to do, not to do, you're not smart, you're not this, you're not that, and in the end, we believe that we are much less than we truly, truly are in the depth, in that intuition and in that life force. And this mental conditioning, this worrying, living in our heads, believing we're not good enough, we're not beautiful enough, we're not strong enough, disconnects us from that intuition and that life force. And Wim Hof Method is the perfect tool from going to Mother Nature, using the oxygen, using the breathing, using the cold water and immersing ourselves in that to reconnect from Mother Nature to our own inner nature, which is that intuition, the deeper knowing and that life force. And we use a breathing exercise and we use cold. And these are two stressors with high adrenaline levels and we learn to deal with that stress and we learn to deal how to connect with that deeper intuition and that life force. And if we are able to do that, we have a principle that is called cross adaptation and we are able to adapt to all other stressors in our lives much more than you can imagine right now. So imagine, so I just talked about the mindset a little bit now. Let me talk about a little bit about the cold, the cold, uh, cold showers, ice bath. If we go into the cold with the right mindset, we know that the science has proven there are so many benefits. Wim has done the work. It has been done and it's an ongoing process. Now, if we go into the cold and we prepare the body with the breathing, the adrenaline is already high. And when the alkalinity inside our blood is there, then the nerve, the pain sensors in the nerve tend to react less because it, the, the pain receptors react to acidity. And because the body is more alkaline, the pain receptor will be less sensitive and it will be less painful when we go into the ice. And when we step into the ice, the first thing that kicks, is, is the kicks in is the flight response. I want to get out of here. And I see that also in ice baths. I see people really like, am I going to stay here? They want to run. And then they decide to stay and then they tend to fight it and they all get tensed up. But the moment they start connecting with their breath, with their spirit, and letting the body do what it is supposed to do, then they, at one point, they surrender and they reconnect. They start laughing. They have a smile on their face. And that means that the endorphins are activated. And the body is a miracle. It remembers this and it creates new neurological patterns. And the more you do it, the more, the thicker this, this cable of electricity becomes. So you actually activate higher brain function and you have new neurology and you learn how to deal with stress in daily life because you can use these new neurological uh, patterns in, in daily life. So uh, that's, that's the beauty of this Wim Hof method. And again, I believe really everybody should learn how to do this to have a better life, better life of quality. So in the beginning, when I saw the Iceman, I thought it was about records and how long can you stay in and how cold is the water, but that's nothing to do with that. It's just about getting into the cold, feeling that survival reaction and going beyond that mind that wants to fight and fly. So you can reconnect with your inner peace and your inner joy and your inner life force. Okay, that's about the cold. I can't talk for hours, but we're not going to do that. Let me talk about the breathing exercise now. First the safety. If you do this breathing exercise, keep it safe. It is 100% safe if you follow the rules. The rules are very simple. Lay down, sit down in a safe environment. That's it. Don't do the breathing in the shower. Don't do the breathing in the cold. Don't do the breathing in any activity that gains your attention. Then it becomes dangerous. The breathing is 100% safe. Just lay down, safe environment, and you're fine. You can do it sitting. I've done it sitting for a long time, but if you're in a lying position, you tend to take off much more oxygen and you're much, way, um, much more relaxed. So just lay down and take a blanket because the adrenaline goes up and your body temperature can go down. Another situation that you do not do this exercise is when you're pregnant. We don't know if it has a bad influence, but just for safety, just don't do it. When you have epilepsy, don't do it. 
when you have high blood pressure and it's um, out of control, you have difficulties to, to have your blood pressure under control, just don't, don't do it. Also, don't make it in a competition. It's the same with the ice bath, the temperature and the minutes you're in don't matter. It's the same with not breathing, the amount of time that you're not breathing. It's not a competition, it doesn't matter. The thing that matters is that you find your peace after the, the breathing itself and that's it. So, so don't uh, think about, oh, I didn't make one and a half minute. It's, it's not important. Now, after the breathing exercise, the breathing exercise triggers the body to go into a reset. So after the breathing exercise, stay down. Lay down for 10 more minutes is definitely as important as the breathing exercise itself so your body can do its work with that change chemistry. It will stay for that for 10, 15 minutes. So just stay down and, and let your body do what it is supposed to do. You will be in a deep sense of peace and a meditative state. So enjoy that. Now, let's talk about the breathing exercise. We're gonna do four rounds and each round has three parts. First, we have a breathing part where we're going to breathe in as deep as, you, as we can and we let the air escape, it's passive. And we do that a couple of times and then one moment I'm gonna say the last breath in, let go and then we stop breathing. Now, during the breathing part, the sympathetic nervous system is activated. So we're going to increase adrenaline we're going to activate the body, we're going to change the chemistry and your body will respond to that. Now, after the last exhale, we stop breathing and in that part of the exercise, the parasympathetic nervous system is activated and good feel hormones will be, will be released and so you will feel the sense of peace and timelessness even if you're not breathing. So um, it's just being and it's a very, very uh, amazing feeling. Now, when you feel the urge to breathe, when your body asks for oxygen, don't fight it. If you want to breathe, just breathe in as deep as you can and then you hold the breath. So you breathe in powerful and deep and you hold the breath for 15 seconds and we're going to squeeze a little bit of pressure to the head. Now that is called the recovery breath. Are we going to give the, the master gland in the brain, the, hypo, the, the pituitary gland, we're going to give it some extra oxygen because the master gland is the boss that reigns over the autonomic nervous system and we're going to give it some extra, extra oxygen. And in the meantime, the, um, the values in the blood recover and tend to, to uh, go back to, to normal. So that's one round, breathing, sympathetic nervous system, action, not breathing, parasympathetic nervous system, healing and releasing and detoxing and the recovery breath of 15 seconds. Okay, now you don't have to remember all this. I'm going to guide you from A to Z through this breathing exercise. Um, also in this breathing exercise, we're gonna do a round of retention. So not breathing one minute, second round, one minute and a half, third round, two minutes, and the last round, you can hold your breath uh, as long as you like. Now the breathing technique let me show you before explaining it because you see a lot of people on youtube who are we call them youtube breathers who are forcing way too much it's much more much more simple than you think so let me show you three times and then i'm going to explain so hand on my on my belly hand on my chest i'm going to breathe in as deep as i can without forcing with the belly and the chest That's it, it's nothing more than that. Now, three mistakes are made. People tend to force too much when your shoulders lift up and when you have a lot of tension in your face or a lot of tension in your, in your neck here, these muscles, it's too much. We wanna be very energy efficient. So that means that every muscle that is contracting without bringing oxygen into the body is waste of energy. Now, another uh, mistake that we see a lot is that people don't breathe deep enough or that they are breathing too slow. Remember I said in the first part of the breathing, we wanna activate the adrenaline, the, epi the epinephrine, the sympathetic nervous system. And if you breathe too slow, if you don't breathe deep enough, or you're not able to activate uh, the, the sympathetic nervous system and all the benefits go to waste. And a third mistake is that people don't breathe circular. That means they have a pause between the inhalation and the exhalation. Make it circular. 
So um, what we're going to do now um, is just put your hand on your belly and on your chest. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Now we're going to breathe together five times. When you breathe in, first the belly comes up. And in the end, the chest will come up as, as well, by itself. And it's one movement, it's not two movements. So breathe in with the belly and the chest. And you let it go. And the letting go is like a sigh of relief. It's completely passive. So your focus is on the inhale. So breathe in. The belly and the chest. And you let it go. Breathe in, belly, chest. And you let go. Breathe in. Three more times. Fully in. And let go. Belly, chest. And let go. Last time. Last time. Belly, chest. And let go. So your focus is on the inhale. The exhale is 100% passive, it's like a sigh of relief. If you breathe through your nose or your mouth, it doesn't matter. If you ask Wim, he says, just get it in, breathe in through any hole, just do it. And for beginners, it is advised to do it through the nose, but you can choose that on your own. Now, to I always say, breathe powerful, but don't force. Breathe with elegance. And elegance means that besides the breath, besides the, the belly and the chest, nothing moves it's a waste of energy now how to make it circular if we have the a figure we can say you breathe in and you let go and you breathe in so there is an acceleration in the breathing in and in the out but you see there is no stop between the inhalation and the exhalation now what, what, what I would like to do now is a mini round of five breaths. So we're going to breathe in five times. After the last breath, we're gonna stop breathing. And then we're going to inhale and we're gonna do the squeeze. Okay, put your hand on your belly and on your chest. And then you breathe in five times. Okay, deep in. Two. Three. Four, five, let go, stop breathing. Okay, breathe in, in five, four, three, two, one, fully in, hold, and now contract your pelvic floor, contract your abdominal muscle, and contract the chest. And then you will feel some pressure inside your head. Now don't force this. We wanna blow your mind, not your brain. Okay, so we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, we're gonna breathe five times, fully in, with the belly and the chest. Last time, let go, stop breathing. Okay, breathe in, in five, four, three, two, one, fully in, hold, contract your pelvic floor, pull in the belly, squeeze the chest a little bit, and we hold this for 15 seconds, and on my sign in the exercise, we let go. Okay, that's the technique. Can you give me some feedback on the live feed if that is Good, understood. Thank you. Okay, you can see thumbs up, so that looks amazing. Now, what can you feel during the breathing? You can feel tingling everywhere. 
loosen the body, like you're floating, you can feel lightheaded. Uh, and because we're going also into the emotional part of the brain, some um, emotions may rise up. Frustration, sadness, anger, regret, fear, guilt, I don't know. The body knows what to release. The body also knows when it's ready to release. Just let it happen and it's all okay, whatever you feel. It's also possible with some people that they feel some ringing in the ears. Don't worry, it will pass away 10 minutes after the exercise. And the, in the end, it's the goal to experience a deep relaxation in the body, a sense of inner peace and joy. When we were in Poland uh, two months ago, there was a guy and he had a laugh kick. He was laughing for 10 minutes, so he was completely high of his own supply. The, the serotonin and endorphins were in his brain and he was laughing for 10 minutes. So it was really, really funny and nice to see. Now, some last instructions before we're going to start. Give it the best, you get the best. Um, I compare the Wim Hof breathing also with scuba diving. If you stay too superficial, you see nothing. If you go too deep, you pass out and it's black. But when you go deep enough without forcing, you can see the beauty of the ocean. And here you can see the inner beauty of your own being. Follow your breathing, follow the music, follow my voice. I will guide you all the way through it and follow the eight figure if you want. Don't think too much, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? In the end, it's about getting much more oxygen in than normal and you'll be fine. And also know you are in control. So when it becomes too intense for whatever what reason, just go to a normal breathing and reconnect with the group later on or start with the next round. Okay, I think it's time to start the breathing now. Uh, what I wanna say is we're going to have a four minute break, exactly four minute break for a pee, to drink something that you don't have a, um, a dry mouth, get a blanket. I will start the music in exactly the music of the breathing. I'm gonna put some music on in the break as well. I'm gonna start the breathing in exactly four minutes. So go to the toilet, drink something, get your blanket and get ready. We're gonna do this. Oh yes. And the last, and the best instruction is this. Just breathe, motherfucker. Let's do this. Come on.
lying down on the blanket now. We are with 50 people, 60 people. So imagine we're on a beautiful field of grass together. It's one group, it's one tribe. We're gonna breathe together as one group, as one unit, as one lung. Now put your hand on your heart and feel your heartbeat. Your heart is pumping already since you're in the uterus and it's bringing oxygen and the nutrients to all the cells of the body through 100,000 kilometer of blood vessels. We have 4 billion cells and 1 trillion cell reactions each second. These numbers are not important, but what is important is that you realize that your body is a miracle. And we can learn how to control the body with this simple breathing exercise. So we're going to breathe for health, strength and happiness. The first round we are going to change the chemistry of the body because we are alchemists. In the second round, we're going to trigger the body into a reset. In the third round, we're going to breathe for strength, mental strength. We're going to reawaken that lion that resides inside each one of us. And in the fourth round, we're going to breathe for happiness to reconnect with our spirit, to reconnect with the inner child. We go beyond the mind, beyond the DNA. In that DNA are a lot of belief systems that help us and belief systems that block us. And it's coming DNA from more than 170 ancestors. It doesn't even belong to us. We're going to, on a journey inside the physical, the mental and the spiritual body. We're going to do this together. Give it all you got. You give the best, you get the best. That's what Wim says. Breathe powerful. But don't force. Breathe with elegance, the belly and the chest, and nothing else moves. The first round starts with the ringing of the bell. You are relaxed now, you're very able to take up a lot of oxygen. Enjoy this breathing exercise together. start with the first round so start breathing belly chest let go belly chest let go belly chest let go 
In this first round, we're going to breathe to change the chemistry of the body, make it more alkaline and produce a lot of energy. Body, mind, soul and heart connected. As one unit, breathe with passion, give it all you got. Fully in, letting go. Fully in, let go. Oxygen comes inside the body, carbon dioxide goes out, the breath and the heart know the way to the cells. And the cells know what to do with this oxygen. And they get out the shit that doesn't belong there. So give it fully, charge the body with oxygen, and let's clean out this mess together. Fully in, letting go. Belly, chest, and let go. Belly, chest, and let go. Follow your own rhythm. Follow your breath. Like a wave, make it circular. Belly, chest, and let go. You don't have to force, breathe powerful, but breathe with elegance. Nothing moves but the belly and the chest. Focus on the inhale, don't breathe out, just let it go, but breathe in deep and fully. Fully in, letting go. Fully in, letting go. Deep in, letting go. Change the chemistry of your body, help your body to become happy, strong and healthy. We are able to do this, we are alchemists, so give it all you got. The body functions at best in an alkaline environment with a lot of oxygen, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. Fully in, let go. Fully in, and let go. Fully in, let go. First round is the hardest. The mind may interfere and ask how many more breaths. Can I make it till the end? Don't stop, keep going. We go beyond conditioning of the thinking, beyond the mind. So whatever you feel, tingling, loose in the body, it's all okay. Keep going, fully in, let it go. We're almost there, fully in, let it go. Deep in, let it go. Deep in, and let go. Fully in, letting go, almost there. Fully in, letting go. Deep in, and let go. Last breath, fully in, let go. Stop breathing, just stop. Relax your shoulders and your pelvis. Just observe what happens in the body. Observe what you feel, where you feel it, and let it be. These places are the places that need oxygen most, so you can even breathe more oxygen in the next round. For now, you have more than enough oxygen, so just be. You don't have to do nothing, not even breathing. Okay, we're gonna breathe in in five, four, three, two, one, fully in and hold, contract your pelvic floor. Pull in the belly, squeeze a little bit the chest so you can feel in the head. And we're gonna let go in five, four, three, two, one, let go. That was the first round. We're gonna start immediately with the next round. So start breathing, belly, chest, and let go. Fully in and let go. No forcing, but powerful. 
We're in the second round now. Now you know what to do. So give it all you got. Deep in and let go. Pull in and let go. Beautiful. Keep going. In this round, we keep making the body alkaline. We keep energizing the body with oxygen. And this way we hack the autonomic nervous system at will. And we will trigger the body into a reset. So fuel every cell of the body with oxygen. It means energy. Old waste products are cleaned up. It's a used cleansing of the complete system. So keep going. Fully in, letting go. Fully in, letting go. Deep in, and let go. The reptilian brain is triggered now. So let's create a total reset of the body. Let's decrease acute and chronic inflammation. We pump fluids into the lymphatic system. White blood cells to attack bacteria and viruses are created and released in the bloodstream. So don't hold back, keep going. The hormonal system releases endorphins and happy hormones in the bloodstream. So keep going, pull in and let go. We're almost there. Pull in and let go. Pull in and let go. Finally, the organs re receive enough of oxygen to detox the body and to create new cells. To heal the body from inside out, consciously, at will. So keep going, fuel the body with oxygen. So breathe in fully and let go. Fully in and let go. I promise you, you will feel amazing at the end of this round. So keep on going. Powerful and connected, conscious and aware. Heart, body, mind and spirit connected as one unit. We're gonna breathe together now and we're gonna speed up the rhythm a little bit. Come up, come up. Pull in and up. Deep in and go. Deep in and go. Come up. Deep in and go. Deep and go. Deep in, and go, almost there. Deep in, and let go. Deep in, and let go, almost. Deep in, and let go. One last, final breath, pull in. Let go, and stop breathing. Just be, relax. Become aware of what you feel in the body tingling, the lightheadedness, it's all okay. Just observe it and let the body do what it is designed to do, which is reset the system now. In this round, we're gonna do one minute and a half of retention. If you feel the urge to breathe before my sign, breathe in deeply, squeeze to the head, and you start on your own rhythm with the next round. For now, you're completely relaxed. Just witness and let this feeling spread out the body. Four, three, two, one. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna start now with the third round. We're going deeper and deeper into the cells. We're going into the subconscious layers of the brain now. We are breathing together with 50 people. Connect with the energy of the group and start breathing again. Come on, come on. Deep in and let go. Deep in and let go. Keep going in your own rhythm. Follow your breath. We're going to breathe for strength now. Not only physical strength, but also mental strength. We're going to connect with the power of the mind. So go fully in and let go. Belly, chest, and let go. Belly, chest, and let go. We're looking for that lion inside. That lion symbolizes self-respect self-recognition, validation. But this lion has been deprived of oxygen for way too long. So fuel that lion with oxygen. Reawaken that lion. Feel the power of the music and reconnect with that inner force. We're going to do this together here and now as one group. So come up, come up. Full in, letting go. Full in, letting go. Pull in, let it go. We're in the third round now. There's no thinking anymore. There's nothing but the breath and the body. You hear the power in the music, connect with it and give it fully. We're going through the subconscious layers of the brain. We're gonna cross that bridge beyond limiting beliefs into the DNA, into the infinity of your own spirit, of your own soul. So give it all you got. Fully in and let go. Deep in and let go. Deep in and let go. Come on. Deep in and let go. Whatever is hidden in the subconscious mind, I'm not good enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not beautiful enough. Whatever it is, get it out. Look it in the eye and let it go. Breathe it out. In connection with this life force, we are so much better and stronger than we think. So keep on breathing. Fully in, letting go. Fully in, letting go. Fully in, letting go. Follow your breath. Even become your breath. Become your own inspiration. Some people will feel that emotions start to arise emotions that prevent us from being the best that we can be. So whatever it is that you feel, shame, guilt, weakness, anger, whatever it is, feel it and let it go. Keep on breathing, we're almost there. Fully in, let it go. Fully in, let it go. Fully in, and go. Deep in, and go. Deep in, and let go. Last breath, fully in, let go, and stop breathing. Great, 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 great. And just relax. The body is buzzing with energy, power, and oxygen now. It's in an optimal condition to do whatever needs to be done. The body knows. So witness the healing that is taking place inside. Witness the magic of your own physiology. Whenever you feel the urge to breathe before I give the sign, breathe in powerful and as deep as you can. Hold for 15 seconds and squeeze a bit to the head. Then you start with the next round on your own pace.
Okay, we're gonna breathe in in five, four, three, two, one. Fully in. Hold. Squeeze your pelvic muscles. Pull in the belly. Squeeze a bit in the chest, all the way up into the head. And let go in five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, guys. We're gonna start the fourth and final round. So start breathing again at your own rhythm, but powerful and deep. Pull in and let go. Deep in and let go. Beautiful people, here is a beautiful secret. Oxygen is another word for love. The last three rounds we've been breathing love in every cell of the body. Now do this, this round with even more passion, with intention and with all your heart. We're gonna breathe for happiness. Give it all you got. This exercise is really worth it. Fully in. Letting go. Breathe in love and let go stress. Keep going, come on. Build up the rhythm and build up the power. Happiness always starts with self-love. And this round we're going to reconnect with that deep love inside. Reconnect with your spirit, reconnect with the inner child that still resides in every one of us inner child, playful with its own needs, its own longings and its own dreams. The inner child that we've neglected way too much and way too long. So breathe and fuel the deepest part of our body. Fully in and let go. Fully in and let go. Fully in and let go. Don't wait for other people to recognize you. Validate yourself. And be kind to yourself if you tend to disapprove. It's, a, it's an invitation to stop. It's okay, we all make mistakes. We are all humans. Forgive yourself and move on to the next day. Just keep on breathing, come on. Pull in, let it go. Pull in, let it go. Pull in. Letting go, we're almost there. We all deserve health, strength and happiness. Not for the way we look, not for the way we possess, not for the way we achieve things, but just because we exist. And that's it. Just be simple as you can be, the best that you can be. Trust yourself, trust your body, and keep on breathing. Fully in, letting go. Fully in, let it go. We're gonna speed up. Fully in, let it go. Together, fully in, let it go. Fully in, and go. Fully in, and go. Almost there. Fully in, and go. Deep, and go. Deep in, and go. Last breath. Fully in. Let go and stop breathing. Just relax. Be in this moment. And enjoy this moment. Not breathing, just being. Stillness and peace gratitude and in love. In this round you can stay as long without breathing as you like or as you can. But remember if you feel the urge to breathe, you breathe in as deep as you can, you hold it and squeeze to your head. This round you don't have to stop after 15 seconds holding your breath. You can keep it as long as you want and as you like. And 
let this let this feeling spread out through the body from head to toe feel it everywhere i remember this feeling Stay in this state for a couple of minutes to go. This part of the exercise is as important as the breathing. Your body is integrating all the work that you've just done. Just, just stay down and leave here for another couple of minutes. Know that you can do this powerful exercise anytime you want in a safe, comfortable place. For me, it's a sacred exercise of me time. It's a holy act of self-love to regain health, strength and happiness. To stay in connection with my intuition and my life force.
come slowly back to the here and now. Move your feet and your hands. Wiggle a little bit with your chest and your pelvis. Maybe open your eyes. like sitting up again, you can come sit up again. I don't know the body does what it needs to do which each and every single one of us so um if you have more questions don't hesitate and ask them in the feed um, as you know there's much more information on the official Wim Hof method site there is also the free app for the people who don't know Wim Hof yet method yet there is a free app there's a free mini course there's much more info on the science if you want to dig into that. And the fundamentals course that I was talking about earlier, the way I started, is because of the coronavirus, 50% uh, discount. So that's, uh, that's an amazing uh, gift from, from the Hoffes, so the inner fire team behind the Wim Hof Method. And uh, I would like to ask one thing, that's, can you describe in one word how you felt during the breathing or how this experience was for you in one word in the feed and um, that would uh, be very nice to have that little bit of feedback um, and I guess um, it's time to go now it's a very nice moment to um, to leave this online session so I would say just keep it safe Keep healthy, strong and happy and keep breathing motherfuckers. Ciao, ciao.